This is a quick lab demonstration of angular momentum. So we'll have our participant using several different masses, rotations, and displacements. The first is going to be that they're on this rotating platform. We spin them around one time with their arms out, then they bring their arms in. And then we're going to time both and record our observations for all these experiments. So you'll see in this upcoming clip, we have our participant pushed around, timed the first rotation there, then he brings his arms in, and we time the second rotation. You can see that when we record both of those, the arms out spin was 2 seconds flat, while the arms in spin was 1.04 seconds. We'll then repeat this step with two weights in either hand. For the purposes of this experiment, we're using 5 pounds in either hand. Again, he gets a push, goes one rotation with the arms out, then brings the arms in for one rotation, and our experimenter timed this. Make sure you slow down if you try this at home. You can try it in a wheelie chair. You can slow yourself down with arms out. You can see that arms out was roughly the same as before, but now bringing the arms in was significantly faster. Next, we're going to do a series of experiments using a rotating bike wheel. First, the participant, just like before, is standing on a rotating platform, and this time the experimenter is going to hand them the rotating bike wheel. The rotation is occurring in this experiment counterclockwise, as noted from a superior view. They hand it to them in the horizontal plane, and then once handed to them, the participant is then going to stop the wheel with their hand, and we're going to observe what's going to happen here. Okay, this time what we're going to do is we're going to have the participant apply that force to the wheel himself. So he is going to exert the force on the wheel while holding it and we're going to see what happens. You can always come back and watch for these observations, but note which way he's rotating here. For this next part of the demonstration, we're going to have the experimenter hand the participant the rotating wheel, again rotating counterclockwise from the superior view. And this time, instead of stopping it, they're going to reorient it into a vertical position. You can see our experimenter spin the wheel up, hand it in the horizontal position. Our participant rotates it. We would write down our observation. And just for a good measure, he rotates it back the other way, back to horizontal. In the next experiment, experiment six, the wheel is going to be rotated and handed to the participant in a vertical plane this time. They're then going to turn it horizontal and then reorient it to vertical. Experiment 7 is to examine the additive or subtractive effects of rotating or reorienting the wheel when it's rotating in addition to the participant rotating on the platform. So when the wheel is rotating and oriented in the same direction as the spin, those two summate and then you get an increase in speed. And in this little demonstration you can see that the wheel is spinning towards the participant. He is then spun, he's going to maintain it vertically, and then when he reorients the wheel against the grain of the spin, it stops his rotation. However, when he spun again and reorients the wheel with the grain of the spin, it then accelerates the spin. You can see the speed of the spin pick up, and then a quick reorientation back to vertical stops the spin.